Hi, this is Florida Natural Farming at Frog Valley Tropical Fruit Farm, and I've uh, got some sugar cane I need to cut up. I was checking my um, philodendrons and my other aeroids, monstera, I believe, that I've planted out in the orchard floor. Well, kind of. I planted a philodendron esmeralda dense cutting in that tree. You can see the leaf like right in the center of it. It's like a pocket full of dirt. And this tree has other trees that grow inside of it. It's a gigantic leguminous uh, elephant ear tree. Should be good there. I th was going to do it on the ground, but um, saw the dirt that was in that little crevice and I thought that's perfect so I'm gonna plant some anthuriums there eventually in that tree um, this is a, another philodendron esmeral dense a leaf cutting I did about four weeks ago looks very healthy I'm not ever gonna water these so they have to be able to survive like everything else so I don't water them when I plant them it rained really heavily and they're in compost. This is uh, Philodendron Maximus. Um, this is Philodendron Tenu. This is Philodendron Chironiae? Or no. Yeah, Chironiae. Come on. I don't need it on extra, extra large, do I? No, there. Then I got Monstera subpinata. Leaf, these are all cuttings off my mother plants that I bought. Uh, Shelly shouldn't be out here. There's too many birds of prey. <clears throat> this is a philodendron varicosum cutting. They'll had roots in the little pots I had them in, so I thought the Philodendron Maximus was a, a plant I bought but from Florida Grower. This is a Philodendron Giganteum, green form. I have the variegated form, but I want to do cuttings of that. <clears throat> so it's growing inside. This is Monstera Uh, Escalito, I believe. So pretty here. It's starting to look good. I like working on the, um, the non-food plants. I mean, I like that I've spent the first three, four years planting the, probably four years hunting and planting all the fruit trees. Slow, solely focused on that. It's a little uh, koi mak tree seedling. So over here I have, uh, where is it? There it is. Epiphrem, Epiphremum Cebu Blue Flame, I guess is what it is. Right there, to grow on that tree. So now I'm gonna go and look at our uh, Sugarcane, show you how I plant sugarcane. Uh, probably our rarest uh, succulent is this uh, tree aloe. It's the one that starts with a B, don't even ask me which one. Venice, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this Calathea looks gorgeous. I can't believe I got that at Home Depot for $14. Like, 
not that long ago, this year, 2022, this uh, egg fruit, canistel tree, egg fruit, a, a very good one called Delightful. Um, they're looking good. It produced fruit for the first time last year. It was a tiny little eight inch grafted tree when I bought it. So I have all this sugar cane that I bought before and I really, I mean, they do good, but I'm not gonna, um, plant. I like how they have aerial roots. So they're fixing nitrogen from the air probably would be my guess. Um, but I got two superior varieties from a good friend of mine that grows like this and has zebu cows that lives in Indian River County. And um, has a, a big food forest. Like, but he only so focuses on food stuff. <clears throat> I have my fruit trees. Now I want my pretty stuff. That's what I'm doing now. I need the pretty stuff. Not that the fruit trees aren't pretty. These, uh, freaking sugar apples are looking good lots of blooms on them um, just covered in flower of course I gave each one of them a 50 pound pile of uh, the pooped on bedding the pine shavings and the um, Zebu manure and the grass hay. Pooped and peed on. So I applied it, I don't know, I did it when there was no leaves on these things. As these lose their leaves here in Vero Beach, at our beach house, they don't lose their leaves and they fruit twice a year. Dry farmed, of course, everything's dry farmed. Look at all those flowers. I guess people have pest issues with these. Yeah. <clears throat> if you're giving a high nitrogen fertilizer to them, you're gonna have pest issues. <clears throat> or anything, you know, in excess. I still like the fruit trees, but I like all the other stuff too. The gingers and I like it all. That's the problem. <clears throat> I guess it's not a problem. So one of the gingers was a yellow variety. Uh, that's super, super sweet and super juicy. And the other one was like a brownish green one, or a blackish green one. Big, big canes. I'm trying to figure out how to get over there. This is kind of in a weird spot. Look at the citrus is loaded with fruit. I mean, just everything is truly amazing that you can do this without watering or just just from adding compost. Those edible, probably. <sighs> but we're not on a mushroom hunt. We are on a... That goes... Lots of mangoes. Kind of, one little one, one bigger one, a little tiny tree. I had some bananas that I forgot to get and I saw them yesterday and they were like, eaten. You see those things? Yeah, right there. I have some more bananas. 
Let's make sure and cut them soon. Look at this, uh, rabbit manure. We got so many rabbits here and hawks. So this is the, um, the other one. And as you can see, it's got big black canes and it's very good. Super juicy, super sweet. So unlike that other one. Um, so I just like do this. Try to cut it <laughs> without too much trouble. It's kind of hard to hold the phone and do it, I guess. Um, and I drag it over to the to where I'm going to. Uh, look at all these mushrooms. Going to. Um, Planet. I mean, look at that. Yeah, you using your fungicides? Not a good idea in Florida, and they're just everywhere. Um. Oh, cherry of the Rio Grande. I love these. They look like they're getting bigger too now that the tree is getting bigger. So these usually are good when they're black, but this one's pretty good now. Mm, they're so good. Oh my God. Three little seeds. They're really good, really, really good. Um, this tree took so long to fruit. Fruited for the first time last year and I ate one when it was red and I decided I didn't like it. It was a little one like this red one. But I didn't like it. And then I came back and there were black and I, I ate it and it was like super delicious. So I decided eating them when they're black is really good. Now I like them when they're red. So maybe, I don't know, there's something in them I can tell. That's good for you. Probably the leaf leaves would be good I would think so this is like the banana area I've got like hundreds of bananas in here that I've um, I've been dividing so I originally bought 15 of these and I started dividing them last year I don't know why it took me so long to start doing that but I uh, now I, I divide them and when they're um, when there's only one uh, when they produce more than one so when a pup forms I remove it until it gets big and then I let it um, carry one pup so I just like I planted this sick with 60 uh, sugar uh, sugar cane I planted sugar cane in here before and it never took see there's some remnants of it um, I've planted so much stuff in here. It's unbelievable. I mean, the amount of stuff that's died. You could see the uh, sh uh, sugar apple that was originally here. I had two more rows of sugar apple in here and mangoes that keep freezing back. So I put um, okra in here. I put uh, black beans in here. I put... Uh, Sesame in here. I put sweet potatoes in here. Uh, sweet potatoes did good. Um, 
but the stuff just never grew. But it looks like the bananas are going to do the trick. And this is the other sugar cane that I'm planting in here. So it, this is that yellow one, and it's delicious and super sweet. I have another brownish yellow one that's not even close as good as this one. And this one gets huge. So I just cut the ends off. Took me a while to figure out, but the, the little uh, eye goes up. <laughs> um, I can't believe it took me so long to figure that out. And I'm going to throw a couple of these. I got four um, Cherry of the Rio Grande seeds I'm going to throw in here that will hopefully come up. Um, and then I just dig the shovel in here. And then I put the the uh, cutting in there and I push it down make sure the cutting is not up against the shovel or it'll get damaged so you turn it sideways and then I push it down and then I pull the shovel out with my foot on the on the sugar cane and voila it's done it's pretty easy hopefully I think they're gonna take because the bananas look like they're finally doing good so have never been watered um, yeah, and then I planted ginger between everything, and I planted a uh, Inga Cinnamonier that keeps freezing back, and then that keeps freezing back. And the sugar apples up there, with the ginger originally planted between them, all made it. Possibly if I would have done the ginger next to everything. Who knows, but maybe it's from the runoff from the road, and this was like a lawn pond for 50 years. And the chemicals and everything else settled right in there that maybe they were spraying glyphosate along the chain link fence probably would be my guess and that's probably why it took so long to um, restore the fungal habitat into the um, compacted sand <clears throat> I don't know, that's just what I believe. So I buried uh, biodynamic horns, my biodynamic horns, last year in here, two of them. So this year I did, uh, I don't know, I think I did about 20. Just to jumpstart it, because I know they're full of uh, fungi. You know that the uh, all the grasses, the bananas are growing great in here. It's uh, I think it's ready for the to take off. Looks like it's going to do it this year. Can't even tell there was a freeze except for the mangoes. <clears throat> I'm just going to plant seed mangoes there. I'm over these after this gets growed up, and I could uh, protect them a little bit better from the first freeze. If it happens to freeze again, hopefully it won't. Um, who knows? Anyway, this is Frog Valley Tropical Fruit Farm. I hope you have a good day.